guys, Selena here. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you could tell, my lighting is not the best right now. I'm literally trying to beat sunset. The sun is literally setting behind me. Um, but I wanted to film this video because I'm going to be trying birria tacos for the first time. And I'm so, so excited. And I had to put on my camera and I had to film it. Because I'm so excited. I've never had birria tacos. I always see people on Instagram eating them. And I'm jealous. So I finally got them. So let me show you. Let me actually show you how they look. Oh my god. Like look. Sheesh. They look so good. And then they gave me chile. And so this is what I'm going to dip it into. Oh dang you can't see it. Can you see it? I don't want to drop it. And then I got a quesadilla on the side because I'm so hungry. Look at that. It's an asada quesadilla. Ooh. And I got an agua de melon. So, full on feast. Let me tell you where I got these from first. So, I got them from a local little restaurant here in El Paso called Tacos El Cuero de Culiacán. Done. I will put their name up on the screen and their information down in the description box below as well. Their service, 1010. Love it. I'm also going to be answering a few questions I got um, off my Instagram. I posted for people to ask me questions. If you're not following me, you must follow me. I will leave my username down in the description box below as well. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Mm. Okay, and then I've seen people just like dip it. Okay. Mmm. That is so good. right away mm. Mm -hmm. that is so good I'm actually going to try their quesadilla with the chile that they gave me this is like red. Guys, I love salsa. Oh, shoot. That one's actually spicy. This one's green. Mmm. Low key. They're both spicy. The green salsa is better. It also gives me like a. Toriado. Guys, I love chili so much. Ooh. Okay, let me answer a question. Am I going in because I'm hungry? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. First question. Tats? Question mark? Yes, I do have tattoos. <laughs> if you did not know which a lot of people don't only my close my close people but I have a total of 10 tattoos um they're all kind of in places that if I wanted to hide them I could if I wanted to show them off I could um but yes I have a total of 10 tattoos I'm obsessed with my tattoo artist I will put his Instagram up here on the screen he is amazing I give him ideas and he nails them every single time so if you guys are looking for a tattoo artist I will put his information here obviously in El Paso okay next question how do you stay fit <laughs> I don't consider myself that fit but I think what I mean is like how do I stay fit because 
y'all see me eating all these kinds of like fast food and stuff like that so you guys see me eating a ton of fast food but during the week I do meal prep so when I'm at work um, for lunch and stuff I do um, my meal prep so it's just mainly like chicken and like ground turkey uh, for breakfast I do like a light breakfast I do work out three to four times a week um, I at least try to I try my very very best um, but I honestly just kind of watch what I eat like in moderation I definitely don't starve myself <laughs> Um, or deprive myself of anything that I want. I just kind of just eat and eat stuff in moderation. I don't go too crazy. I think this is my new obsession. Agua de melon is good too. I know they have like ochata and like other ones. So good. Okay. Next question. Biggest pet peeve when you're in a relationship? Hmm. My biggest pet peeve would probably be lack of affection and lack of communication. Both of those. And by lack of communication, that's kind of self-explanatory. Just not communicating. <laughs> like, my significant other not communicating with me. Not being honest with me. You know, just stuff like that. And as far as lack of affection. Meaning, not showing me affection. Not showing me that, you know, that they... They love me so much and you know does that make sense because <laughs> my previous relationship i i lacked the infection from him he would never show me affection it was rare very very rare um it at one point it kind of felt like i was asking for it when i shouldn't be so i guess that's my that's my two biggest pet peeves what made you start a YouTube channel? Good question. So, I would love to watch, I still do, I love to watch food reviews. I just, I love it. I love it so much. So, I started kind of like, oh, like, I want to start a YouTube and stuff like that. And I had actually mentioned it to my best friend, um, the one that's usually in my videos. And I'm like, oh, we're going to start a YouTube channel, so on and so forth. Our schedules are so different. It was hard to fully be committed, like both of us. So she's like, oh, well, why don't you do it? Like she, She literally pushed me to do it in a good way. Like, she pushed me to do it because I was not going to do it, even though I really, really wanted to. Um, but she genuinely pushed me to do it. And honestly, I, th I thank her. I was very back and forth about it. And I, I finally did it. I had purchased my camera from Best Buy. And I was like, well, you know what? I just spent a lot of money on this camera, so now I have to, you know? And I'm so happy I'm doing it because... I used to be so picky as far as like food and now it's so fun to taste so many different foods I mean I know I'd be tasting just fast food but it's fun like it's fun to step out of the comfort zone do you wear makeup you're so gorgeous <laughs> stop they all look sweet as so <laughs> To answer that question, I can't say, I'd be lying if I said I didn't wear makeup. I do on occasions. Like right now, I don't have any makeup. Um, but if I do, 
I'll wear a little bit of like foundation just to kind of even out my skin tone. Um, if it's a special occasion and I'm really, really going out, I'll do like foundation, like the little eyebrow uh, pencil, eyeshadow, lashes, and like literally like a little subtle lip gloss. I don't really go all out. I'm telling you guys, I love to watch people put on makeup but I'm just the laziest to do it on myself. Are you single because you're way too beautiful to be single? <laughs> you guys are the sweetest. Yes, I am single, definitely single, and living my best, best life, period. What is something that grosses you out? Something that grosses me out is vomit. I can't do vomit. I can do blood. I can do guts. I cannot do vomit. You vomit in front of me, I'm vomiting right back. Because absolutely not. I just can't. I cannot do vomit. It's, mm -mm. Favorite cereal. I'm loving these questions. Honestly, I'm having fun. favorite cereal mm. at the moment the Reese's Puff cereal mm. so so freaking good <laughs> that just be hitting different if you guys haven't had the Reese's Puff go buy it I'm full, but I'm still eating because it's so freaking good. Favorite thing about your job? Oh, I like this one. Okay, so if you guys have seen my previous videos, which you should, but anyways, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you guys know I work at Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Center of El Paso. And um, the most favorite thing about my job is literally being building a relationship with these patients because y'all they come in and they are obviously shy they're insecure like they're there for a reason you know so obviously we want to make them feel comfortable because it's just an awkward situation in general you know for anybody so I think building a relationship with the patient from beginning to end is the best feeling in the world to see them from when they came in the day of their consultation for whatever they wanted to do whether it be surgery botox whatever and then to see them get it done especially when it comes to a surgery to see them get the surgery and their confidence literally goes from zero to a hundred like it's the best feeling in the world because Obviously, I didn't do the surgery, the doctor did, but I was there, you know, like I was there through her visits after surgery or his visits after surgery, and it's just a great feeling that they feel great. I love to see people happy, and I think that's why I'm obsessed with my job and being in this field, because I love, love, love to see people happy. Why do you review fast food and not good local restaurants? Well, 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 surprise, surprise, I'm actually reviewing a local restaurant. <laughs> Just kidding, but that was a very sarcastic answer, but I get that, though, because that's coming. I promise there's more coming aside from this video. Um, I know I do a lot of, like, Taco Bell, Arby's, blah, 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 blah. I love those restaurants, but I know... I need to be supporting local and I do I do support local so that's coming I just I have some video ideas already in the works so that is definitely coming I want to review like food trucks and stuff like that and that'll be so fun um to let you guys know so yes that is definitely coming because we love 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 to support local and you guys are from El Paso and if you guys have any local food trucks or restaurants like um 
little, you know, obviously the local restaurants here in El Paso that I should try. Put their name and their information down below so I can definitely try it for a video because I'm so down to do that. With all that being said, this restaurant, which was Tacos El Juero del Culiacan, was 10 10 recommend. Like I said before, I'll leave their information down in the description box below so you guys can go check them out. So, so good, guys. Definitely hit the button. But thank you guys so much for watching me. As always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.